Don't hurt yourself. Uh, uh. Lars is the one to watch. That rat bastard is up to something, if you ask me. Uh, God, can't you see that I'm trying to get a brain and body workout in here? Could you be quiet just for a few seconds? Just sit quietly. Sorry. Jesus. God. Duh! Oh. Well, yoga brain must be really working because you're really filling up the column inches. Ah. You know, I loved your blurb on the Vincenzo purses. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, and this paragraph on Paula Redstone's book about vacation destinations for pets. <laughs> that photo caption. Okay. I get it. It's kind of pathetic that I'm just writing more shit, like the shit that's already in there. I need to write my own stuff. It has to be something, at least with my point of view, like a column, like Woodman's L.A. Do you really leave the house enough for that? I'm not going to answer that. Shit, I got it, I got it. Ah, uh, please go, now. What is it? No time to say goodbye. Goodbye. No time for saying that. See you around. Jesus! <laughs> I'd like to use the stairs because then I'm warmed up. Remember, everybody, there are no rules other than that we do not mention this to female colleagues. Also, this is not a rule because I just said there are no rules. It's more of a reminder. Down here, we're all the same. Men in a fighting group. But the second we leave here, I am the boss of everybody again. OK, come on, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, get ready. Thunder and lightning. Lars, take off your ring. Your ring, take it off. It's a symbol. I don't care. Take it off. It's a safety machine. Oh, shit. No, no, take no. it off. Symbol. Take it off, Lars. Symbol. I can't fight if you don't take it off. Snake strikes with a symbol. Hey, Lars, take it off. Come on, let's go. Christ on a collar, Jackie. This is great writing. Thank you, Skylar. I don't mean the Los Angeles version of great. I mean the old, real Dust Bowl, Kansas version. Right. Well, I don't want to um, crank up the false modesty, but I think it might be the best piece of nonfiction ever written. I love it. I love it. I'm not going to publish it, but I love it. Why not? Jackie, you've painted these women as economic tourists. Hollow inside, lacking all passion, only in business because their husbands bought them stores and gyms and galleries to play with. Yeah, so? Jackie, who is Michelle Eisenberg's husband? Philip Eisenberg. Of the PR firm Eisenberg and Lundberg, whose clients include? Oh, come on, Skylar. Among others, Toby McGuire, who is probably 10 minutes from the photo shoot for next month's cover. But if I piss off Philip Eisenberg, no Toby McGuire. I guess it doesn't matter if you piss me off. Oh, come on, Jackie. You can write other stuff. No, I can't. And I won't. I quit. Jackie. I quit. Jackie. Jackie. Jesus Christ. There's fucking blood everywhere. Are you okay? Woo! Look at this badass! Huh? God damn! Great Fight Club, everybody! Let's go get Phil Smith Woo! the beverage of his yeah! choice! Yeah! Woo! All right! Herman, get my goddamn tie! Jackie, I just witnessed something so monumentally pathetic. You are not gonna believe. I, I gotta go. Tara, how much did you see? <laughs> I don't know. You I could not know. tell anybody about this. I have to. Dana wants to know. No, don't tell Dana. Look, I don't know if you can tell, but a lot of us did not play team sports in high school, OK? This is all we have. I am sorry, but I cannot keep this a secret, Berman. I even if I don't know exactly what it was, it's too awful to keep to myself. Please, don't ruin it until after next week, after the Tournament of Champions. I think that's what we're calling it. But Lars is really into it, and he's treating us a lot better. And if you tell Dana, he's going to make us stop. 
it's just, it's too juicy. I can't keep it in. I'm gonna pop. Just next week, after the Tournament of Champions, you can pop your ass right off. Okay, please. Please. Hello? Hi, Angela. This is Jackie Woodman, your occasional client. Jackie, you don't ever have to say your last name to me. Oh, well, thank you. Well, guess what, Angela? I wrote something. Goody, goody, goody. It's long form. It's nonfiction. Do you know any publishers? You're talking to someone in publishing, Precious Wonder. Fax it to me right now. What kind of vehicle do you see it in? Oh, I don't know. Harper's or Maxim, anything. I don't care. Done. Leslie Finch is there, and I was in her wedding. I'll sell it to her by this weekend. Well, you don't even have to sell it. As long as somebody reads it, I don't care. Well, I'm going to read it, so your dream is already coming true. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Angela. Ask, believe, receive. Ask, believe, <laughs> receive. Ask, Thank believe, you. receive. Okay. No, no, Ask, okay, believe, but... receive. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Those, those dorks? <laughs> They're always like that. No, no, Tara, that moment was rancid with man stink. What have you turned up? Um, oh, nothing yet. Sorry, Dana. No, sorry won't cut it. I am not gonna get caught with my pants down again. Keep a weather eye. The storm is coming. Hello? Jackie? You're here. I heard you were in a hospital in Rome. God, where'd you hear that? A dear friend, I think. Listen, can you be here at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning? Because you have to. I've got interest. Strong interest. Ooh, how strong? Jim Thorpe strong. Listen, I don't know what the literary equivalent of a bat mitzvah is, but you deserve one. Because today, you became a writer. Oh, finally. Yes. Oh, gosh. Isn't it incredible? OK, Jackie. Hope you feel better. Bye. Uh, bye, thanks. Dilla. Oh, where's the... Tara. What do you want? It's on. Oh. Tournament of Champions? Well, we ended up calling it Super Fight, and I, I know, I don't like that name either, but it's in five minutes. Mm, well, don't hurt yourself. Just distract Dana so that we can get down there. Oh, man, you dicks owe me. Everybody owes me. What have you got? Okay, first off, I'm totally against office gossip. Especially when I could see myself in a similar situation. But I suppose that this could hurt the company in some general ethics type way. Tara, what is Lars up to? What? What the fuck? What the fuck? What on the moon of Earth is that? Those boys are looking to engage in some circle jerkery. I want that stopped right now. Come on, it's super fight, you dirty queers. Hit each other. Super fight, dirty queers. What the hell you think you're doing here? Six <laughs> Is Ray married? He my man. She should be here any minute. Right. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, Jackie! Hi. This is the interested party. Oh, hi. Hello, Jackie. Sam nice Simon. You. Congratulations on your intriguing article. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. So intriguing was your article, Jackie. Thank you so much. Well, I'm glad you liked it. What do you plan to do with it? Nothing. It's that powerful. The power it has is the power to ruin my life and the, the life of my wife, Dee. Oh, OK. D. Simon's your wife. Sam has bought D. lots of businesses. Suffice to say, she has yet to find her niche. Oh, well, that's a shame. 
You see, Jackie, sometimes a woman reaches an age where she's too old to pretend to be an actress, so she decides to pretend to be a businesswoman. She sells gourmet matzo or organic dog biscuits, it doesn't matter. The point is, if the public knew they were really paying for daycare for rich Brentwood housewives, well, the whole thing would dry up like mummy pussy. My wife would never leave the house. You see, Sam wants to buy the rights to the Brentwood bride story. Wait till you hear the terms. I'm prepared to pay you $18,000 a year. Uh, in return, for the next 57 years, I'm gonna put it in a box and bury it in my backyard. That's almost 10,000 a year after commission and taxes, just to do nothing. Isn't that great? Oh. Can I come and visit it? No. Hi. I'm What's Sally Kellerman, and I have tried all kinds of worthless programs to pull my life together, from Est to the platform to the yoga brain, but I never knew what well-being really meant until I found the blanket. Even from our earliest days in the crib, we always reached for a blanket. I used to call my blanket a banky. Oh. <laughs> oh, I used to love my banky. I would hug it and kiss it. Hey.